A mansion on a vast estate, 29 luxury cars and a celebrity girlfriend. This extravagant lifestyle belonged to a local Thai police chief dubbed Joe Ferrari. His expensive tastes became a scandal after this security camera video was leaked showing the officer, Colonel Titasanu Tanapon and his men suffocating a suspect to death. I was shocked to see that in this era there was still such abuse of an accused. What about his human rights? The video went viral after a junior policeman sent it to lawyer Citra Bierkamner who posted it on Facebook. The officers tried and failed to resuscitate the suspect, reporting the death as a drug overdose. Critics say the video highlights a culture of cover-up. In Thailand, if a case doesn't get interest from the media, it won't be investigated as thoroughly, or the accused may be acquitted. Joe Ferrari went on the run at first, but then handed himself in. As that was happening, investigators and Thai media were uncovering his lavish lifestyle and an extraordinary official scheme that explains some of his wealth. Part of Joe Ferrari's job was to seize luxury cars that had been illegally imported by people trying to avoid a 300% customs tax. When the cars are later auctioned, the police involved with confiscating them get a cut of the final sale price. This reward is to encourage officers to work on difficult and risky cases. Without a reward, there won't be as much motivation for officers to do this type of work. Investigators say Joe Ferrari confiscated 410 vehicles over a decade, earning about $24 million. The ABC gained access to other high-end cars he seized, now deteriorating in this dusty Bangkok car park awaiting auction. He claims his assets came from seizing goods people imported to avoid tax. Is that true? I don't think all of it came from that. Corruption investigations are underway and the police station chief and six other officers will soon go on trial over the death in custody. We are lucky that uh, we have the CCTV as the strong evidence. And I think that this case is only the, the top of the iceberg, what has happened uh, in Thailand. Colonel Titasan has vowed to fight the charges. Mazoe Ford, ABC News, Bangkok.